Come on. Come on. It's so beautiful outside. It snowed here overnight and the trees are full of snow. But with the snow coming, that means it's winter time and winter can get really, really cold. So now's the time to think about how to keep your pet birds warm in the winter. Although they're indoors, it can still get pretty chilly in the house. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you some tips on how to keep your birds warm in the winter. All right, now I'm back inside, nice and warm and cozy. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to keep your birds a little bit warmer in the winter time, even though they're in your house. Now, uh, most houses are comfortable around between, you know, anywhere from 19 to 22 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. I believe that's around 63 to 65 Fahrenheit. I do Celsius, so I'm not sure you can convert that. And, um, so you want to keep your birds warmer, especially the birds that are senior birds or they have a health issue, they're not feeling good, um, they don't have any feathers, they're plucked, they're going to get a little bit cold. Or baby birds, you want to keep them warmer. You don't want them to get a chill. As some parts of the house are colder than other parts. Like As you all know, I have a bird room and my bird room is the coldest room in my house because I have the big large sliding glass um, windows there and the actual heating vent doesn't really reach that room it goes all over but it doesn't go in that room so that's that's colder so I do have to provide additional warmth for my birds especially when it gets really cold outside now you want to see where your bird's cage is, is placed. If you're, you've got your bird's cage placed against a wall and it's an outside wall, that can be cold. You want to put your hand on the wall and see if it's really chilly, especially at night. Now usually the night times are colder than the day times. So what you can do is you can just pull your cage away from that wall and you can cover the cage with a blanket on three quarters of the cage, leaving the front open or just even at night when they sleep, you can just um, cover the front a little bit, leave some you know breathing area for them. So a blanket is a good source of warmth, so it can take that chill off that's coming from the cold, the cold wall. Or if your bird cage is near a window and the windows aren't sealed, or it's an older window, and you can just um, check and you can put your hand around. You can see if there's like you know wind coming through there, and even doors around the doors, you can. Um, check those doors and put like caulking around it or whatever you put the weatherproofing strips around them so you don't got the draft coming through any windows or doors and you got to consider if you're using that door near them you're coming in and out and when you you know you come in and out it brings in a lot of, of cold air and that can just you know chill your birds your birds are warm and then they're cold and then they're warm and then cold which is not uh, good for them at all you can also just move the cage to a different location in your home. You can move the cage to an inside wall in your home so that the wall won't be so cold, providing that, um, you know, the coolness coming in, especially in the nighttime. You can just move the cage away to an inside wall and you can still use a blanket around them. And you'll know if your bird is cold, if they are, <laughs> what are you doing, Kingsley? If they're shivering, if they're, you know, puffed up a lot, but sometimes if they're puffed up a lot, they could be ill. So you want to just keep an eye on them. And usually they put their beaks into their feathers or they'll put their feet, you know, change feet and put them up in their feathers to keep warm. So if you see this go away, once you move their cage, um, then you'll know that they're feeling a lot warmer. Another way to provide warmth for your birds is to get them heaters. Now there are bird safe heaters. I have one but actually attaches to the cage. I put it right by the perch and my birds go there. It just provides radiant heat and they sit there and they love it. When they're cold, they can, you know, come and go. If they don't want to get warm, they just leave. If they want to get warm, they go closer to it. And also you can use a heater for the room that they're in or, or near their, their cage. Um, I use a ceramic heater, but I just want to warn you, if you get any of these heaters, do not plug in a brand new heater near your birds because there probably is a Teflon on it which which can kill your bird. So what I do when I get these heaters, I actually put it outside. I run it outside or if you, you've got a garage or you got another room and you close off you know under the door so the, the smell doesn't go near your birds because that could really kill them. Any new appliance that you get you have to let it run first away from your bird. I just let it run for 
I, I'd run it like, like a few days. I didn't run it the whole days, but I would do it like maybe three days before I put it into my bird room. And even when I stored it over the summertime, because it's stored and everything else, you have to run it again. There's a smell that comes from it, and you don't want to just plug that in and put it near your bird. So you always gotta, you know, wear off those those smells from yeah, you know, getting near your birds. So just to be safe, make sure you run it away from your birds, and then you can put it near your birds. And this is the other heat panel that I got. It's really big. It's about 11 by 11. It does come in other sizes, but this one's much bigger than the other one that I have, and it can be actually hung on the wall. It comes with these little brackets that I gotta figure out how to use. Or it can be a hung on the outside of the cage. I did get other brackets for that that go here and you can hang it on the side of the cage if, if your cage isn't near a wall. And um, it, it does plug in as well. So I'm gonna give this a try and I'm quite sure it'll do a nice job and this way It'll, this will actually emit more heat than the small one that I have, I, I assume. I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm going to give it a try. So this is uh, another option for your birds. And other ways to keep your birds warmer in the winter, when you change their water, just give them lukewarm water. And when you give them the, ba the bathing water, you can give lukewarm water. Instead of giving them cold water, you know, they, they drink and they're cold. I don't know about you, but when you're freezing, you drink cold water, do you shiver? I shiver. I mean, we can keep warm. We drink, you know, we'll eat some soup or drink some chocolate milk or tea or coffee. But then you give your birds some cold water it's going to make them make them shiver and if you feed them chop which you should you know fresh food and all that you can warm it up for you know a few seconds in the microwave before giving it to them cold which will give them a chill and when bathing your birds just make sure they bathe in the morning as you don't want them to go to bed wet at night and to be you know always cold when they're sleeping you want them to be nice and cozy the best way to keep your birds warmer in the winter is to let them out of the cage. Let them fly, let them play. My birds aren't cold in the daytime because they're always active. Your bird's gonna be cold if it has nothing to do and it's just sitting there freezing on a perch. It doesn't have any toys or anything to do. Or it's just sitting in one spot. Yes, it's gonna get cold. So my birds are, especially in my bird room, they're flying everywhere. They don't even have a chance to get cold. But it's usually at nighttime when they're sleeping because they're sitting still, right? They're sitting still and nighttime's always cold, right? Just like what we do, we go to bed and we cover up with big blankets. They can't do that. So you want to think about how you can keep your birds um, warm in the winter. Hopefully these tips helped you. And let me know what you do for your bird um, to keep them warmer in the winter. Just uh, leave a comment down below and you can uh, give your ideas and let everybody else know because I might have missed something. Are you eating my hair? Oh, he's bringing my hair. Just don't eat it, okay? Because it's already like messy. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.